and uh, welcome to our today's today's webinar in collaboration with Strive. <clears throat> Promises to be more exciting, um, given the fact that we are also uh, going to celebrate 50 years of, uh, you know, India-Pakistan War 1971. And uh, today we have an array of speakers who have been there, done that as far as this war is concerned. And I'm going to invite General Manvinder to uh, continue with the session. General Manvinder. Good morning, everybody. Distinguished panelists, veterans and viewers. On behalf of the Akhil Bharatiya Sainik Seva Parishad and the Society for Transformative Research, Integration, and veteran empowerment, I welcome you all to this monthly seminar. Uh, with the help of Headquarters Central Command and some painstaking efforts of the founder members of Strive, uh, we became active last year. And since then, a lot of contribution has been made by Strive to the government of Uttar Pradesh, to Headquarters Central Command, educational institutions, and also to the media. As part of our growing activities and to commemorate the golden jubilee of 1971 India-Pakistan war, Strive has undertaken to create public awareness on the war by directly sharing with the people experiences of our revered war veterans of 1971. I just wanted to remind you that in this golden jubilee year, that is 2021, a lot will be said and written on this epic battle that the Indian army fought and the nation uh, fought this war. However, in short and in sum, I would like to just lay down a few issues which over a period of time I learned about 1971 and I thought I must share my thoughts with you. Undoubtedly, it was a comprehensive defeat for Pakistan and Pakistan was split and Bangladesh as a new nation was born. But what is of great significance is the amazing display of military prowess by the combined might of the Indian Armed Forces, which created ripples across the world and probably changed the course of contemporary history. In its aftermath, India emerged as a dominant regional power and a future continental player. The regional security equations shifted from the direct to indirect confrontation, or for that matter, combat to conflict, which today we call hybrid war. For the first time, and I think this is very significant, the world witnessed India displaying a national political resolve to use force outside own boundaries. It also showed strategic maturity to wage war by reposing complete trust in our armed forces. This trust allowed the desired coordination amongst all organs of the state and gave operational freedom to the services. As a result, and in a very short time vital to the outcome of the war, the Indian Navy was able to establish mastery over the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal, and the Indian Air Force, in a most telling manner, decimate the Pakistan Air Force capacity both in the West and the East. The Indian Army thus got a battle-winning environment to launch an unprecedented lightning campaign lasting 13 days from multiple directions and on multiple fronts. The sheer brilliance of the maneuver-based operations against Pakistan positional defenses over the most difficult riverine terrain anywhere in the world won the grudging admiration of professionals across the world. This was achieved mind you, despite Chinese and US threats of interference and a relatively 
unfriendly global environment. Credit cannot be taken away from the sacrifices made by the people of Bangladesh and of course the Indian border areas. The force multiplier effect of the Mukti Bahini and the phenomenal support that the Indian Army received from our own paramilitary forces. The decisive national victory spearheaded by the armed forces demonstrated our capacity for war on two fronts, maturity of the planning and coordination mechanism, ability to orchestrate large size forces, and most importantly, the savvy to finish the war by establishing a new peaceful nation. And all this was achieved while remaining prepared for the Northern Frontier. My salute to the veterans of 1971 who made it all possible. And I must not forget to add that this was done and operational jointness was created through personal interaction and professional integrity in the true armed forces spirit of nation comes first always and every time. In this golden jubilee year, I appeal to all citizens to join in the solemn celebrations and remembrance ceremonies that will be organized to pay tribute to the martyrs and veterans and recognize the contributions of your truly patriotic, unfailing, and a most professional armed forces. I, on behalf of Strive, welcome and offer our gratitude to our distinguished veterans, Honorable Minister General V. K. Singh, PVSM, AVSM, YSM, ADC, Air Marshal Harish Masan, BRCVM, Vice Admiral Suresh Vangara, PVSM, AVSM, Lieutenant General Utpal Bhattacharya, PVSM, AVSM, Major General Abardhwaj Parmar, VSM, and Brigadier B.K. Ponwar, AVSM, VSM. Thank you so very much. And I now hand you over to General Dushar. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's an uh, honor for ABPS, PSSP, and this tribe to have this uh, seminal uh, se webinar on Indo Pak War. General Chaturvedi to take on the proceedings further by requesting our distinguished guests to participate and share their wisdom, or share their experience. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dushan. Uh, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, this webinar is a minimal attempt by the Society for the Transformative Research, Integration and Veterans Empowerment in collaboration with Puru Sanik Seva Parishad. And what could be the better way to start the innings by recalling the most glorious chapter of the Indian military history, the 1971 war, which was not only, which not only changed the political landscape of the South Asia, but also gave a confidence to Indian armed forces that, yes, we can do it. Thought. Notwithstanding, faced with the belligerent superpower, USA, shortage of most modern equipment and armament, and likely Sino-US collusivity, India defeated Pakistan decisively. And it was possible due to the bravery, courage, audacity, and above all, a commitment to the nation of the armed Indian armed forces. Although each of the operations during the war were worthy of admiration, but we have selected six of those acts which showcase valor, innovative skills, deep planning, and professionalism of highest order. To add credibility to these operations, we had requested the veterans of that period to narrate the actions who themselves were part of the operations. We at Strive are extremely grateful to Army Commander Central Army, Lieutenant General I.S. Goman, PVSM, AVSM, who has been very kindly consented to bless us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army Commander, may I request that recorded message may please be played. Good morning, everybody. 1971 war is that glorious chapter of India's military history 
that every Indian is proud of. Indian armed forces with their audacity, innovativeness, meticulously executed plan and an attitude of yes we can secured unprecedented triumph in the annals of military history. I am very happy to note that veterans of armed forces in Lucknow have decided to share their experience of the conduct of operations with the present generation of soldiers. Such a recollection will inspire the serving community to continue working with dedication and commitment in the true tradition of soldiering. My compliments to Team Strive and Poor Sanic Seva Parishad for taking up the subject for the webinar on the occasion of the Vijay Divas. I wish the webinar a great success and convey my best wishes to all the speakers and the participants. I also take this opportunity to convey my felicitations on occasion of Vijay Divas to all ranks and the veterans. Jai Hind.